What you guys got another video here for you. What are the pros and cons of using a Microsoft account, which means you will need to sign in and connect your user profile, your account to Microsoft compared to using, say, a local account, which is like an offline account where you're not connected to Microsoft via your email account. So what's the difference between the two? I know a lot of people prefer a local account, uh, and but some people do need to have a Microsoft account, and there's quite a few reasons. It says here, one account for everything Microsoft. Access your favorite Microsoft products and services with just one account. Your Microsoft account connects you to your files, your photos, people, and connects you uh, to other things as well, all Microsoft. So basically, in a nutshell, what it's going to do is sync all your settings across all devices with your Microsoft account for easy access uh, for your PC and other devices. Also, it's going to give you access to other benefits like OneDrive and other things like uh, pass key here, as you can see down here, your pass key settings. And also, it can also be a much better secure login for you if you're using a Microsoft account and you're using a PIN because obviously it's going to be linked to your Microsoft account and you're not going to just be able to sign into that computer and see the data. So basically, if you are using a Microsoft account and you are syncing your account to Microsoft, basically what that's going to do is back up your apps, your settings, your credentials, and all of your other folders and stuff on your computer that you may have. And it can keep those synced to your computer and back those up. So when you reinstall Windows, it's going to be able to easily uh, sync those back to your computer very quickly using the uh, Windows Backup app, which is uh, built into Windows. There's also some benefits uh, with Copilot. If you use Copilot on your system, you can use Copilot. I turn it off, but you can use it for just text searches. But if you want to use more advanced features and doing some creations and things like that, then obviously you'll need to have a Microsoft account to use those features with Copilot. And Microsoft are pushing Copilot really hard right now, and they're going to integrate it even more on every bit of application that Microsoft own on Windows 11. And it's even going to get worse as new laptops and new PCs are built with the Copilot key on the keyboard. A Microsoft account is a definite must if you are going to be using Copilot. As you can see, it's not on my system. I don't use it. I turn widgets off. I turn all of that stuff off on my system. Now, Microsoft have this uh, sync setting, which allows you to sync all of your system settings, credentials, network details, files, photos, all that stuff. And even OneDrive, if you're using any of this sort of stuff, you are going to need to use a Microsoft account to use those features across all of your devices that have Windows on them. And it's not to say that these features are not useful because a lot of people use them and they are very useful for a lot of people that like to sync their data to their account. Unfortunately, some people don't want that feature and they want to turn it off. Another thing is your Windows Store, the Microsoft Store, which has a lot of applications and a lot of things that you can use. Uh, some of them you're going to need to have a Microsoft account to use some of the features inside the Microsoft Store. Now, obviously, if you're using Microsoft Office or Office 365, then obviously having a Microsoft account makes sense because it's going to sync all that information and all your contacts, people, and everything else that you use like Outlook is going to be easily manageable uh, via a Microsoft account. Now, you don't have to have one to use Outlook. Now, of course, there was once a time when you used to uh, download and install Office and put it on your computer, and you didn't need to be connected to a Microsoft account to use it. But it seems that Microsoft are moving away from that way of doing things, and they want you to have a Microsoft account to use their products, and this is the way they are going. Now, on this computer, I'm logged into a local account here. I can still use Outlook, but on my uh, work computer, I basically have a Microsoft account logged in and I have all my contacts and all my work stuff uh, linked up here to make it a lot more easier for myself to manage. But if you're just using your computer for surfing the web, playing some games, uh, looking at YouTube and just doing the normal uh, stuff that people would do on their computer and you won't need to have a Microsoft account. You will then be able to use something like a local account, which means you don't have to sign into a Microsoft account. 
Now, for the cons, uh, there is a major issue with having a Microsoft account, and that is privacy. Obviously, one of the biggest problems is always going to be privacy with Microsoft because they are now gaining access to everything that you do on your computer, which is your photos, your contacts, uh, your browsing history and everything else. It's all going to be connected and synced to your Microsoft account. And of course, that means there's some major problems there, especially with Copilot and things like this. This can be a major privacy concern with them harvesting your data and uh, basically collecting as much data as they can through your habits when you're connected to them through the Microsoft account. Now, Microsoft needs to collect data to provide you with the quality experience of their services, which you are using through your Microsoft account. So that is why they harvest data. But again, how much data do they harvest and are they harvesting too much data? They probably are. And that's the probably the biggest problem with having a Microsoft account, in my personal opinion. Now, one of the biggest problems if using a local account is Microsoft have taken that choice away from you and they are now trying to force you to use a Microsoft account during the Windows installation process. Now, it's important that you don't sign into a Microsoft account during this stage because once you sign in, they will have your details and they will know that computer is linked to you and you really don't want to do that. So there is ways of bypassing this and forcing it into a local account situation, which is what I would advise you do and then you can choose or decide whether you want to go down the Microsoft account route at a later time. Obviously, if you haven't got a, a problem with Microsoft accounts and you do use them, then obviously during the installation process, you can put in your details and sign in and sync all your information to Microsoft if that's what you want to do. But a lot of people do prefer to use a local account. Now, there's also other security issues with signing into a Microsoft account with passwords and things like that, because if you leave your laptop signed in and you lose your laptop, that means they're going to gain access to all your information and be able to look at all that information. So Microsoft have tried to make this a little bit difficult for people if they lose their laptop and they can set up what we call a pin code inside your account here. When you sign up, you can use a pin code and it will be linked to your account and it will make it very difficult for them to actually gain access to all the information, okay, without that PIN code. Also, resetting the password is a lot more difficult when you have a Microsoft account. It's, you're going to have to jump through a lot more hoops. They're going to have to know some information about you to be able to reset that account to gain access to your computer. Whereas if you've got a local account, it's a lot more easier just to bypass the password on a Windows account if you have a password set up for your local account it's very easy to bypass it and you can use software to do this or WinPE or anything like that and it will allow you to gain access to the computer which obviously then gives them access to all your drives and data and stuff like that unless you're encrypting your drives so let's quickly recap you don't need to have a microsoft account if you're just using this for general use i.e surfing the web looking at youtube and uh, just send in your email and things like that. You don't need to have a Microsoft account. If you are going to be in the Microsoft ecosystem, i.e. using a lot of their features, services, and programs and things like that, like OneDrive, then obviously a Microsoft account is going to be more beneficial to you. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it. Just a quick video for today on what the pros and cons are for a Windows Microsoft account or whether you're using a local account. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.